I chose that livery and scheme um, just because I was a huge Ken Block fan growing up. I wanted to be a rally car driver and um, just be part of the Hoonigan Nation like he was and he was just an inspiration to everybody in motorsports and that was one of my favorite schemes growing up. It was my idea um, because I've always been a fan of Ken Block and I really wanted to pay tribute to him and um, just show what he meant to motorsports and myself as a fan growing up. And, um, I didn't think there was a, a better way to choose it than my favorite livery that he ran of all time, which would this iconic drip scheme. I feel like Ken meant everything um, to people, to fans, to the company of Monster Energy, um, to the innovation of racing, to the innovation of marketing, um, how to be somebody on social media and how to push media forward, um, racing media, sponsorship media, um, how to make racing cool to young kids. I think there's so much involvement that Ken has all around the industry of racing that um, people don't really realize. I think that just shows you um, what Ken Block meant to this organization at Monster Energy, that they're usually a very iconic flat black scheme with the big green claw on the side of it, um, but them willing to come off of it for, for one race to, to pay tribute to Ken Block and just to remember him and um, pay respect to him is, is, is very heartwarming to me that I'm able to run that scheme at Darlington and hopefully we can give it a good run. I think the biggest thing um, from when I was a kid looking at this car in person for the first time was just um, it was so cool to see the black paint just drip down the side of a white car and then um, that big iconic green claw stick out of it so I just like how all three colors came together and um, it made a cool livery. Yeah I think my favorite moment of mine of Ken is when I got to meet him for the first time um, that was such a kind of surreal moment for me. I remember walking up to him and just always seeing him on YouTube and TV and whatnot and finally getting to meet him I thought was very cool. Yeah, I do remember meeting Ken. This is the first time I did meet him. I, I want to say this was in Las Vegas um, for like an exhibition race they had um, for Rallycross or he was just doing something with um, his Hoonigan brand and, and drifting for Supercross or whatnot. But, um, yeah, this is young Riley and, uh, and Ken when I got to meet him, which is uh, pretty cool. Well, the 43 Institute um, was founded by Ken's family, and um, it's just about getting kids out to go follow their dreams and get, getting younger kids to pursue racing and um, just push their dreams and their limits and try to be the best they can. Without Monster Energy, I definitely would not be in this chair today, so um, they've been with me since I was a young kid. Um, just started racing in Legends cars and late models and K&N and all the way up now to the Xfinity Series and even a limited races in the Cup Series. So I'm um, extremely grateful that they allowed me to run this scheme um, and just grateful to be a part of that family. I would say maybe 200 miles an hour around Talladega um, would probably be the most extreme thing compared to Ken and whatnot, but um, nothing really holds the candle to the limits he's pushed as a, a driver and an innovator. Definitely humbling um, and just very, very fortunate to have the backing from Monster Energy just like he did as well. And um, just super honored uh, that the Block family allowed me to, to run this tribute and as well as Monster Energy. Thank you to the Block family and Monster Energy for allowing me to run this tribute scheme. Um, it means the world to me to have your guys' support um, and hopefully we can give it a good run this weekend.